Today, we're designing and making a simple lattice table lamp with a laser cutter. To design this project, I'm using a software called Rhinoceros and I start by using a previous lamp file that I designed for this light. It has a simple design for a frame and side panel which we'll modify for this project. We'll start by designing the base which will have a large square piece that sits on a tabletop and a central core where a light kit can be installed and concealed. One of the side panels will have a rectangular cutout where the plug can be pulled through. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll make adjustments to the prototype as we go. Moving on to the side panels, I start by shortening the overall height. Since the base will have the central core that holds the light kit in place, we can reduce the height of the side panels by roughly 4 inches. Once all of the adjustments are made, we can start designing the pattern. I had an idea for a randomized lattice pattern that changes size, direction, and spacing. Behind the pattern, a thin piece of paper would be installed to diffuse light from the bulb as it passes through the lattice. Once I had a rough design, I extruded the shapes to match the 8th inch eco birch plywood that I'll be using to construct this table lamp and assemble the 3D model. Here's how it came out. With the design file created, I applied protective paper masking tape to my eco birch plywood. I load up my laser cutter, insert the 8th inch plywood, and start the cutting process. This is the first table lamp that I designed with a base and center core to hold the light fixture kit in place. Sometimes I wish I knew how to wire my own lamps because I probably could have reduced the overall height and size of the core for this lamp, but I actually like how the design looked in Rhinoceros. It has a lot of similar aspects to architecture where I needed to think about the weight distribution and support so that the table lamp wouldn't tip over. This project can be cut using two sheets of 8th inch plywood at 20 inches wide and 11 inches long. It took a total of 40 minutes for this project. Once all the pieces were cut, I brought them over to my work table and removed the paper masking tape. I turned each panel over so that the back was facing up. I bring over trace paper and cut it down to fit over the pattern cutouts of the side panels. This will create a translucent cover that diffuses light from the light bulb. Once all the trace paper is attached to the back side of the plywood, I bring over the base and four pieces that make up the central core. I apply glue to the edges of each side panel and attach them to form the core. I apply glue at the base panel, align the tabs at the bottom of the core with the slots in the base, and push it into place. This is where we get to see if the cutout was large enough for the light kit. I slowly pull the plug and wires through the opening and realize that it was too small for the kit that I'm using. I cut the bottom of the opening and got the wires to fit for this project, but I'll redesign the base so that it only has three sides. The fourth side will be open so that the light fixture kit can fit. Now I follow the same process as my other projects. I apply glue to one edge of both frames, align the tabs with the slots in one panel, and push it into place. I repeat this with the opposite side and attach the panel to the frame. Now I turn the assembly over so that the empty side is facing up and I apply glue between all the tabs of the frames and side panels. I bring over the next panel, align the tabs and slots, and push it into place. I repeat this with the last side.
Once the lampshade is fully assembled, we can install the light bulb and the project is complete. This is one of my favorite lamps that I've designed so far. I love the proportions of the base of the lampshade and the random lattice pattern catches your attention as you walk by the product. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other laser craft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.